Underneath this half-tilted Toyota, a pair of legs is squirming. Someone's um, car is being robbed right now. Onlookers say this was the work of criminals in action, splayed beneath the Prius in a Westtown parking lot Wednesday afternoon, cutting out the car's catalytic converter. Hours later and still unaware, the car's owner... My engine made the loudest rumbling noise I think I've ever heard to the point where it like scared me. After a quick glance around the parking space, I started noticing like on the ground around me like all types of scraps of metal. I look up under the car and I could see like wires and parts hanging down. In broad daylight and in less than two minutes, a team of three made off with the pricey car part. There's three main elements in a catalytic converter, platinum, palladium and rhodium. Very, uh, very valuable elements. At this point, mechanics say customers roaring in needing replacements for their stolen catalytic converters is routine and a costly fix. The average of $1,000 is, is pretty standard. At this point, we're doing two to three a week. Last spring, an I-team investigation uncovered a sharp rise in this type of crime. Data from the National Insurance Crime Bureau found that in 2019, there were more than 3,300 catalytic converter thefts across the country. But in 2020, that number jumped to more than 14,000, with Illinois ranking fifth in the nation. A Chicago-based state representative is now proposing legislation trying to crack down on catalytic converter thefts. This would require auto part processors to see and record the driver's license of the person providing that catalytic converter. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.